all the time. But what, like, so what are you going to do? I think it's called Quibi, actually. Quibi. Yeah, that's exactly. And then Quibi is born. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, one of my still favorite moments is, and I got to say this because I don't get to talk to Jim that much, is that Dunkin' Donuts, dude, that got, uh, <laughs> that got, remember the one that burned down that Dunkin' Donuts up there in, uh, in Rhode Island, I think it was. Do you remember? Was it no in Rhode Island? Was it a Dunkin'? Was it a, a, a restaurant or a, a, a nightclub? Oh, it was Dunkin' Donuts, man. Uh, remember <laughs> they had cold brew, and the ladies like, "We got cold brew." I don't know what they call it: iced coffee, cold oh, coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cold coffee, <laughs> iced coffee. <Yeah. laughs> I vaguely, I don't, I remember what was she saying? Coffee? She was saying some word. It was so yeah. great. She was so she was she encompassed awful so perfectly, like she was the epitome of awful. Like it was everything about it was awful. Coffee? Oh, uh, what was? Yeah. yeah. The co- and then they were coffee? interviewing people yeah. that 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 went there, and there was like the three people they went there, like. Somebody burned the place down. They started a fire in a rest area in a restroom, and then somebody else just went up there to meet with his parole officer. So he was really disappointed that the place had burned down. You know? Yes. <laughs> oh. And the uh, lady's like, "I can't get my donuts. I gotta get. We're going to get donuts. We're going to the donuts. We're having donuts at work." Yeah, and she didn't know if it was called iced coffee or cold coffee. Like well, she couldn't grasp the coffee that wasn't hot. Absolute yeah. asshole, whoever cold she was. Coffee. Yeah. yeah, polar bear coffee. I think it's yeah. Antarctica coffee. It was she was fucking out of her mind. Oh god damn it! Hold on, now and Dunkin' Donuts burns that. You made me. Uh... You haven't thought about that in a long time. I, I haven't either. But now you're reminding me. Uh, it's it's oh, re- residents devastated <laughs> after a Dunkin' Donuts Disney. fire. And uh, Travis, is there a way you can bring that up and play it, or is there, I, 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 they won't I, go to here? I'll be able to. Oh, Sam, you can do, do it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee, cold coffee, iced coffee. Yeah. Uh, Bro, this is like Christmas for me right now. This is so cool. I forgot about well, that guy. I didn't know what you were talking about. I'm thinking you. I, I literally, Theo, when you first started describing it ten seconds ago, I thought you were talking about the Great White concert, where people were killed coming out. I'm like, what's he talking? About? <laughs> like that's not Dunkin' Donuts. That was a fucking nightclub. Okay, now I know. Uh It's on YouTube. I'm assuming. Oh, uh, yeah. residents devastated after Dunkin' Donuts closed by fire. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Mm. Responsible for all that damage. He's watched 16th Nikki cries. Joins us live from the Central Pennsylvania newsroom with more tonight, Nikki. Julie, a lot of people in Shimokin are upset that Shemokin. Dunkin' Donuts is closed. It's in Shimokin. I mean, how could you? <laughs> because they didn't have anywhere else to go for coffee and donuts. Today, we donuts. also learned new information donuts. about the... Yeah, even the news reporter. Donuts. For coffee and donuts. Yeah, they didn't know where to go for coffee and donuts. Oh, damn. <laughs> donuts. <laughs> Teenage girl police charged with setting the place on fire. Yellow tape surrounds the Dunkin' Donuts on West Sunbury Street in Shimokin. The popular donut shop. (laughs) The popular donut shop. Donut shop. Yeah, what a memory on Theo. That's a great. I I forgot the donut shop. That's right. Oh, the donut shop in Shimokin. (laughs) Oh, this is so cool. Closed until further notice because of extensive fire damage. There's a lot of people that's definitely going to miss it, no doubt about it. A teenager is charged <laughs> with starting a fire inside the restaurant on Saturday night. Shimokin police restaurant. officer Ray Psycho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, a restaurant. <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts restaurant. Starting a fire inside the restaurant on Saturday night. <laughs> Shimokin police officer Ray Psycho says no one was hurt, but the place has extensive damage. Psycho. Psycho says the fire Psycho. started in. <laughs> Psycho. Ray Psycho. How do you grow up with the name Ray Psycho? Yeah. You Thinking. don't, bro. This has to become a musical. This has to become a musical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want to know I want to know what the what it was like for Ray Psycho at Shimokin Junior High. <laughs> if they were yeah. if they were bullying him at Shimokin Junior High. <laughs> 
restaurant on Saturday <laughs> night. Shimokin police officer Ray Psycho says no one was hurt, but the place has extensive damage. Psycho says the fire was started inside the women's bathroom. The toilet paper dispenser was lit on fire, and within about a minute, the entire place was filled up with smoke. The mother did explain oh, yeah. that she's recently been put on new medication, but as far as... <laughs> it's... S I K O. Of course, psycho. it is. could be sicko. Could be sicko. Yeah. Oh, you're not you psycho. It. You got to misspell it. Yeah. You got to. As for what reason, we're unsure right now. The 13 year old who admitted to setting the fire is currently at a juvenile detention center. Many people who live in Shimokin are upset comes. that Dunkin' Donuts is closed. Now I have to rely on myself to go to maybe a Turkey Hill or something where I don't like their donuts. <laughs> They're, oh, that's right. She's not like they're doing it. Oh, they're doing. Oh, she's enraging. Closed. Now I have to rely on myself to go to maybe a Turkey Hill or something where I don't like their donuts. I rather the donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> that's right. Turkey she's Hill. I don't donuts like the donuts. Too much. I'd rather the donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, I don't like their donuts. You just kept saying donuts. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> And I'm kind of dealing with it, but I really miss Dunkin' Donuts. I go there every day. I get a chicken baker croissant or I get some coffee, Powerade if I'm dehydrated. I sit there all the time. If I have any like legal work that I need to do, I go there. <laughs> legal work? Dude, this dude fucks. He's yeah. the man. He's like, bro, I go in. I get a, a bacon, chicken, croissant. I get a Powerade if I'm dehydrated, do some legal work. This dude's the man. The best is the worthless information they give you, the asides, <laughs> like Powerade if I'm dehydrated, like you know, yeah. like these little things that are, you couldn't give a fuck less about. <laughs> like, nobody ever talks to anybody in Shimokin. No. So the minute conversation gets started, you just have a woman going like, well, I could get donuts from Turkey Hill, but the donuts aren't as good as the donuts of Dunkin' Donuts. You know, I'm dealing with it, but I want a donut. God, I forgot about these people. The headliner's coming up, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the lady that uh, yeah, says the walkie yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. Flabbergasted <laughs> by, by, by cold beverage. <laughs> I meet with my attorneys there. I'm going to miss that place when it, if it don't open up. And a lot of my friends go in there, get the cold coffee, the like iced coffee, I guess it's called. People... <laughs> That was Edna Faust. Yeah, Edna oh, yeah. Faust. A cold Edna coffee. Faust. Ice coffee, I guess it's called. She realized that suddenly the official name for it, yeah. God. yeah. I, how did I forget her? Edna yeah. Faust? Cold coffee. Cold coffee. I get the cold cold freezer cold. coffee. I get the freezer coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to go into a Dunkin' Donuts and go, like, can I get a cold coffee? <laughs> yeah. No, I just take one of the regular cups and put it in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, what's it called? Uh, yeah, Swedish coffee, I think, or something. <laughs> Titanic coffee, you know, with the Titanic hit. Coffee. I'm looking at coffee. her picture, too. She's oh, so yeah. she's so great because she looks like Brian Dennehy. I forgot that. <laughs> that. That's the beauty of Edna Faust. I forgot all yeah. about her. She's awesome. <laughs> Theo's right. She does have the Sinbad haircut. She got that flat top working. Yeah, John Panette. <laughs> She looks like John Panette. <laughs> she looks like uh, Ar how Artie Lang ends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gosh, she rules. I meet with my attorneys there. I'm going to miss that place when it, if it don't open up. And a lot of my friends go in there, get the cold coffee, <laughs> the iced coffee, I guess it's called. People miss their... Theo, man, the you're, here's where you're wrong. Nashville is not the spot for you. Yeah. I think we all know where you need to set up your residence and set up a podcast. Do you understand? You could be you could be the mayor of Shemokin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> would you interview like, Edna Faust if you could have her on your podcast? Oh, dude, she would be my liaison. She would be whoever like handles all the media for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, my, it's my producer, Edna Faust. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be a great person, dude. You, yeah, I love that, man. Thanks for going over that again with me, man. That was one of the this is the most I've laughed in a week. That's one of the highlights of my life. Being I forgot about to I totally forgot that existed until you said that. I'm happy you did. So Edna funny. Faust, gosh, she rules. Edna, yeah, the cold coffee. You say Ed, Edna, <laughs> and you just tell her every morning, Edna. Before we tape, I need you to go ahead and get me one of those cold coffees. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> or you can tell me, like, can you get me a coffee that's not hot? What the fuck is it called? And she'd be like, I get cold coffee, I think. Like, she would never know for sure what it's called. She wouldn't. Yeah, she wouldn't. Uh, frozen yeah, I mean, coffee? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I feel like you, you go out to Shemokin, and I would say any one of those people that we heard from would be a suitable podcast guest. Like, you wouldn't want to oh. talk to Sergeant Psycho. You yeah. Wouldn't, you know? I think the whole thing needs to be reinvestigated, man. We should reopen the case, man. You know? <laughs> yeah, or well, the guy who uses it like it's his law office. I would love to know what legal, what legal issues has he tackled at the counter with a croissant? <laughs> you mean <laughs> the dehydrated legal aid? <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to know. Right, who's occasionally there's a Powerade in Dunkin' Donuts. Wait, do you I dehydrated? Can see, I can see the Boston cream on a parking ticket right now that's just <laughs> absolutely overwhelming. Can, can you imagine the lack of confidence that you would have in your attorney if you were like, yeah, I know we got this case coming up. Why don't you meet me at the Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah. <laughs> like, what? You don't have a Bring law your office? file. Yeah, and there's a no, 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 I get on new medication that's burning the fucking place down. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Where is Shemokin? God, I think it's in Rhode Island. It isn't is Rhode it? Island? Okay, I think so. Truly um, beautiful, man. Oh, How are you is... guys surviving? Y'all must be feeling. Are you guys surviving? Okay, are you guys going to get back in the studio soon? Not till January. I don't think so. I mean, we'll be doing Zoom for a long time. It's okay. I'm used to it. Um.